the scientist in me was in the mood of some experimentation in the kitchen. The question I asked was, what is the best method to cook tandoori fish at home? The way I tested this was to use the same marinade and the same fish. I pan fried two pieces, in parallel I air fried two pieces and also I baked two pieces in a conventional oven. In the end I scored them for taste and texture. Does this mini experiment sound exciting to you? If yes, keep watching! I'm using 6 pieces of salmon that are more or less the same size. You can use any fish of your choice. For the marinade, I'm using half a cup of thick yogurt or hung yogurt. To this, add 3 teaspoons of fresh ginger garlic paste, 1 fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder, half a teaspoon of coriander powder, 1 fourth teaspoon of cumin powder, 1 teaspoon of garam masala powder, half a teaspoon of black pepper powder, 2 teaspoons of Kashmiri red chilli powder, half a teaspoon of normal red chilli powder, 1 fourth teaspoon of chaat masala, 1 tablespoon of dried fenugreek leaves, crush it in between your palms and add it in. Salt to taste and 2 tablespoons of mustard oil. You can use normal oil as well but mustard oil does impart a lot of flavor to the fish. Give it a good mix and our marinade should be ready. What is tandoori fish without the red color, right? You don't have to but I'm just adding a pinch of red food color. <laughs> okay, let's coat our fish with the marinade. We'll first season the fish pieces with some salt. Also coat them with some fresh lime juice. Next, we'll add a generous helping of the marinade on each of the pieces and make sure to coat them evenly. Make sure to flip the pieces and coat them on both sides. Next, we are going to smoke the fish. I'm making some room in the center of the plate to be able to put my little bowl with a burning charcoal. Drizzle some ghee on the burning charcoal so it starts to smoke. Place the lid on and let the fish absorb the smoky flavor for at least 20 to 30 minutes. Even if you don't see any visible smoke, don't take off the lid for at least 20 minutes. Alright, ready to test method number 1, pan frying the fish. Set a pan on medium heat and add some cooking oil to it. Also add a piece of butter. We have to make this utterly butterly delicious, right? Once the butter melts, I'm going to pan fry two pieces. Place them with the skin side down. In order to make sure that the fish is nice and moist, I'm going to baste the fish with excess butter in my pan. Just pick up the butter like that and keep drizzling it over the fish. Fish takes a relatively short time to cook. Around 3-4 to four minutes per side should be more than enough. If you fry it too long, then the fish tends to get dry. I'm going to repeat basting it on this side and very soon it's going to be all done. The aroma of the spices is just so good. <laughs> okay, all done. As soon as you transfer it to another plate, a great way to keep the fish nice and moist is to cover it up with a tin foil and let the fish rest for, for 5 or 10 minutes before you eat it. Okay, on to our second method, cooking the fish in an air fryer. Before we start, it's better to line the air fryer pan with the tin foil. If you want to avoid a lot of messy cleanup, this is the best way to do it. Also make sure to coat the tin foil with cooking oil so that the fish doesn't stick to the foil. I have made these mistakes before, so telling you. Again, I'm placing two pieces on the tin foil. And you don't necessarily have to preheat the air fryer, I've done it both ways. Um, just set it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. It should take approximately 9 to 11 minutes to be done. Uh, the timing would totally depend on the number of fish pieces you use and also the type of fish you use. 
and it's all done looks good right and the last method baking in a conventional oven preheat your oven to 350 degrees fahrenheit or 180 degrees celsius i lined a baking tray with tin foil greased it with some cooking oil and placed two pieces of fish it should take around 9 to 11 minutes to bake okay all done wow Now the most exciting part, the taste test. Let's start with the pan fried one. You can already tell that the spices have been nicely fried and coats the fish really well. It looks perfectly cooked. Let's taste it. The fish is so aromatic with all the fried spices. The depth of flavor is amazing and the fish is moist too. Overall, this was outstanding. Okay, let's take a look at the air fried one. The fish feels flaky and perfectly cooked. Let's give it a taste. Wow, interesting. Even though I smoked all the pieces for the same time, this definitely tastes more smoky. Texture is slightly dry, but overall really good too. And lastly, the oven baked one. Oh, okay, this fish definitely feels softer. I barely had to press my fork to cut that. It absolutely tastes more juicy and the taste of the fish is amazing as well. Hmm, time to score them. Okay, so let's rank them for taste first. Drum roll, the winner is the pan fried one. Followed by the air fried and then the baked fish. And coming to the texture. Hands down, the oven baked one was absolutely more moist, followed by the pan fried and then the air fried one. So what does our scoreboard look like? 5, 3, 4. So our winner is pan fried tandoori fish. Even though it was slightly less moist compared to the baked fish, it's hard to beat the taste of fried spices, hmm, right? <laughs> So, how did you enjoy my mini experiment? I had fun doing it. I hope you enjoyed too. Let me know if you want me to do more such comparisons. But hey, hey, I do want to tell you something. This is totally my personal opinion. Everybody has their own ways of cooking and nothing is written in stone. <laughs> the main takeaway from this experiment is take the recipe of the marinade Make yourself a tandoori fish in whichever way you like and I'm sure you'll be happy in the end. Okay, that's all for today. If you're on any of these different social media sites, do follow me. And for written recipes, visit my blog. All the links are in the description. If you haven't already, do check out some of the other recipes on my channel and subscribe if you like them. I post exciting recipes every week. And let me know what kind of videos you like to see, what kind of recipes you want to have. I'd love to do them for you. Alright then, see you next week. Bye-bye.